Astronomy and astrophysics are huge, broad scientific branches, spanning hundreds of areas of study within the two disciplines. The Hollywood big screen promises us epic space battles, alien encounters and commercial space travel. And whilst we are a while away from those things just yet, the work in the field is truly impressive. One of the biggest areas of research in astronomy at the moment surrounds exoplanets, the search for and the investigating of planets that orbit stars outside of our solar system. Why are we even interested in looking for exoplanets at all? Well, not only are we expanding our knowledge of the universe beyond the edges of our little solar system, but we can also discover how different planets and celestial objects are structured and made, observe different processes, and see if we truly understand them yet. And, most excitingly, look for planets that are like the Earth and stars that are like the Sun. Researchers hope that if they find exoplanets that mimic the conditions we are familiar with on our own planet, then we might be able to find life similar to what we have on Earth. So we might be a good while away from hopping over to Mars for afternoon tea or battling little green spacemen from a neighbouring galaxy, but we might just be getting closer to finding habitable worlds and proving we may not be alone in the universe after all. So far, thousands of exoplanets have been located, though the research does not stop just there. Scientists then need to work to confirm that these in fact are exoplanets. We have just a few hundred exoplanets that have been confirmed. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look into some exoplanets that have been found during this exciting research period. Kepler 70b is hotter than our Sun. We have several methods that we can use to track down exoplanets using varying techniques and equipment. Some of these methods include relying on radial velocity, planetary transits, gravitational microlensing and pulsar timing. These can all get the job done and clue us in to just where we might find an exoplanet lying, though some methods are easier to use and generally more reliable, namely using planetary transits. Whilst NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite is perhaps the main satellite doing the job, it was by no means the first technology of its kind set up to track planetary transits. Back in 2009, NASA launched the now-retired Kepler Space Telescope specifically to look for exoplanets roughly the same size as Earth. The telescope uses a photometer to assess how bright stars are. This can be helpful as when a star has regular dips in how bright it is, it can show a planet passing in front of the star in its orbit, indicating that there is indeed an exoplanet orbiting the star. Now, astronomers are able to take this research one step further and use the specific details and small changes in the light to figure out all sorts of information about the candidate planet, including the mass, the speed, the size, and the orbit. This is a useful process, and it is not foolproof as there are other occurrences that can result in the momentarily dimmed brightness of a star, such as sunspots or asteroids passing in front. Overall, the Kepler Space Telescope was a success, mapping out the location of 2,662 exoplanets during its lifetime, from 2009 until 2018. One of the systems confirmed to be found by the Kepler Space Telescope was Kepler 70b, a small planetary system. This had a subdwarf B star, Kepler 70, with two exoplanets, Kepler 70b and Kepler 70c, orbiting it. These exoplanets are both gas giants, not unlike Saturn or Jupiter in our own solar system. Of these two exoplanets, one has been discussed and spoken of much more frequently. We have tried to find conditions like Earth. We have found some far more extreme on Kepler 70b. Let us delve into why Kepler 70b has conditions quite as extreme as it does. The answer lies in the exoplanet's past. The Kepler 70 star was once a main sequence star, albeit 18.4 million years ago as it turned into a red giant stage of the star life cycle. The star pulled the two planets in, engulfing them, swallowing them. We do not know how the two exoplanets somehow managed to survive this experience or whether or not they had an impact upon the star itself. What we do know, however, is that somehow, against all odds, there are two exoplanets that have had any sort of atmosphere they might have once had torn away and are left as two burning hot cores. The sky-high temperatures of Kepler 70b 
Due to the lack of atmosphere, the incredibly close distance to its host star Kepler-70, the hot, hot, hot conditions of Kepler-70 itself, and its orbit taking just 345 minutes compared to Earth's 365 days, all make it clear that there is not likely life lurking on this exoplanet. The conditions of this exoplanet are fascinating. Exoplanets might only seem interesting when they may contain life. To gain more of an insight into how the different planets and stars without our universe has formed is invaluable information. Planet HD 189733b As we mentioned previously, there are many ways to detect exoplanets and keep an eye out for them in the universe. Kepler-70b was found using the Kepler Space Telescope and planet transiting observations. Other techniques have proved just as successful in tracking down exoplanets. Planet HD 189733b is a transiting exoplanet found in 2005. This discovery made use of real-time radial velocity measurements, which were able to highlight the Rossiter-McLaughlin effect in action. The Rossiter-McLaughlin effect refers to what happens when an object moves in front of a star, the same concept that allowed us to measure the dips in brightness on Kepler. The team also detected the exoplanet more accurately following the initial discovery using Doppler spectroscopy, often called by its much more fun name, the Wobble method. This is an indirect method of observation, where astronomers look at the shifts in the star the planet is orbiting to find out more about the exoplanet itself. What is more unique about HD 189733b is its strong infrared thermal emission. This is the first exoplanet to have ever had a thermal map made of it. Additionally, this is the first planet to have had its color confirmed by two different techniques, with the blue hue being confirmed in 2013. Besides becoming the subject to all of these brand new techniques, HD 189733b had a lot more to it than being a guinea pig. To us here on Earth, the nice pretty blue colour looks somewhat similar to Earth, though the blue skies we know in our home are nowhere to be seen here. Winds can blow up to seven times the speed of sound. According to NASA, if a human did somehow reach this exoplanet, the winds move with such danger and violence that they would be caught and whisked into a spiral. If you thought this was bad, wait until you hear about the rain. NASA has some extreme imagery describing this as death by a thousand cuts. The rain is practically made of glass and these harsh conditions would not let anyone out alive. The pretty blue color here on Earth comes from a reflection of our gorgeous tropical oceans. On HD 189733b, it is from the silicate heavy clouds in a dangerous atmosphere. The more research we do, the scarier places we find and unravel. Proxima b Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to us, second only to the Sun. So how exciting is it when in 2016 it was discovered to be the host star to an exoplanet, Proxima b? This predictably makes it, alongside its counterpart Proxima c, the closest exoplanets to our solar system that we know of. We do not know masses about this exoplanet. We cannot place an accurate guess as to the age, nor do we know definitively whether it has moons, though we can make guesses. Researchers don't seem to think Proxima b has moons due to the unstable orbit, which is relatively short, as Proxima b is 20 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. We have a lot of question marks about this planet, despite it being so close to home. Could it be a Mercury-like planet with a big core, or could the planet have plenty of water? Overall, it is safe to say our concrete knowledge is somewhat limited to the distance and orbit. If the planet was formed at the same distance from the star that it is now, then the planet will have much less water than Earth and a quicker developmental pace. Again, several different approaches and options are being investigated. Sometimes it is truly those closest to home that we know the least about. As we develop higher tech equipment and refine what we are looking for, slowly and steadily, we may be able to unravel the puzzle. We have so much out there just waiting for us to explore. A universe filled with exoplanets, some of which are bound to be similar to Earth, and some of which surely contain life. As we develop higher technologies, more and more exoplanets will be discovered, detected, and confirmed. It won't be long until we are living in the futuristic space age 
of science fiction. But what do you make of these exoplanet discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.